Today I'm going to be doing a quick discussion on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm going to be reading one Harry Potter book per month starting in June, ending in December. So I'm just going to jump right into it. This Harry Potter book and The Goblet of Fire are the only two where I watched the films prior to reading the novel. These people dressed in funny looking clothes um, celebrating and someone even shakes his hand. And um, I thought that was cool to see the Wizarding World celebrating what would be known as the day that Voldemort died, um, allegedly. And I think that was cool because in the film it goes straight to, I think, Dumbledore being outside the Dursley's home waiting for Hagrid to arrive with Harry in the motorcycle. So in chapter 4, Harry finds out that he is in fact a wizard. Hagrid arrives and tells him the truth not only about this world of magic that Harry was unaware of, but also that his mother and father were not killed in a car crash. They were murdered by Voldemort. Aunt Petunia shows her resentment and anger towards having someone in her family, her sister Lily Potter, be a wizard because she says, I was the only one who saw her for what she was, a freak. But for my mother and father, it was Lily this and Lily that. They were proud of having a witch in the family. Um, speaking of Harry's parents, when he goes to the mirror of Erised, um, he sees his parents for the first time because he has no photographs or anything. Like he's been kept in the dark a lot about his childhood. You know, he's been kept in a broom closet or whatever. And I didn't understand how sad that scene was until seeing the film much later. I watched the film when I read this book a long time ago. I didn't understand the significance about it because this is a mirror where Harry sees his parents for the first time in his extended family. And this is someone who, A, up until now, didn't realize that his parents had been murdered. I feel like, I think the way someone passes away from real life is important. And I think it's a very different kind of pain. Harry sees his family there and he becomes obsessed with this mirror. He keeps going back to it, even when Ron tells him like, oh, you, prob you probably shouldn't because he's been spending so much time there. Harry does not care. In chapter 12, there's a line that says, but Harry had only one thought in his head, which was to go back in front of the mirror and Ron wasn't going to stop him. Eventually, Dumbledore arrives and he says, this mirror will give us neither knowledge nor truth. Men have wasted away before it, entranced by what they have seen or have been driven mad, not knowing if what is shown is real or possible. Dumbledore mentions to Harry that the mirror is going to get a new home and that he suggests Harry doesn't go searching for it because there's no use in dwelling over it like he's just you know torturing himself with this pain. Um, Dumbledore says, and says it shows us nothing more or less than the deepest most desperate desire of our heart. You who have never known your family see them standing around you whereas when Ron looked at the mirror he saw himself alone because he's always been overshadowed by all the siblings that he has. Harry turns to Dumbledore and says, well, what, what do you see in this mirror? And Dumbledore says that he sees a pair of thick woolen socks. And, and he is obviously lying to Harry because in the sixth book, Half-Blood Prince, we do find out what it is that he, what was his most desperate desire. Um, eventually, Harry has this big um, encounter with Voldemort in the back of Professor Quirrell's head, and he realizes that he has some protection from his mother because his mother sacrificed her life to save him. So one of my favorite parts of the novel is when Harry, at the very end, in chapter 17, asks Dumbledore for the truth. The truth, it is a beautiful and terrible thing and should therefore be treated with great caution. However, I shall answer your questions unless I have a good reason not to, in which case I beg you'll forgive me. I shall not, of course, lie. So Harry asks Dumbledore why Voldemort would want to kill him and his parents, to which Dumbledore says, the first thing you ask me, I cannot tell you. Not today, not now. You will know one day. Put it from your mind for now, Harry. And when you're older, I know you hate to hear this. When you're ready, you will know. Harry doesn't get a complete answer to that question until Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix when we start talking about prophecies and all that stuff. I really enjoyed watching this one. There's a loud airplane out there. But, um... The next one's Chamber of Secrets, which is definitely one of my favorites growing up. Chamber of Secrets and The Prisoner of Azkaban at the time were two of my favorites from the whole series. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.